guys, my apologies. Someone asked me to do my um, makeup take off face cleansing routine and I was in the middle of it when I remembered. So one of the first things that I do when I clean my face is the first thing I do is I clean my piercing. You guys know I just got this piercing and um, I use the spray from there and I pour it in a little top and I hold it over the piercing for like three minutes just to get it real um, clean and moist. And then I take a Q-tip and I clean around the piercing um, to get anything off of it or any residue or whatever to keep the piercing clean. So the next thing I do is I use a cleansing cream or something. So you can use like Pond's. Um, you can use an oil like vitamin E oil. Um, recently I have been using this face and body refresher and almond milk by Bath and Body Works and so what I've been doing because I can't figure out what to use this for so I spray my face oh that went in my mouth but it's almond milk so it's not bad um and I get the makeup off so whether you use a Pond's cleaner, a face cleaner, a makeup wipe. I'm using my makeup rag. For the top part, I'm going to spray it on the rag because I don't want to spray my piercing or hit my piercing. And I'm going to clean the top part. So the reason why I do this is because I like to clean the makeup off my face before I clean my face. When I first started wearing makeup and everything, I used to just go straight in with my um, makeup cleanser which right now I'm using the Clinique but I used to like go straight in with just my makeup cleanser just my makeup cleanser and then you wonder why when you finish you still have so much makeup on your face so the first thing I like to do is get the makeup off my face my number one staple to do that is cold cream Pond's cold cream or any cold cream that you get from the Dollar Tree my second staple to do that is any type of oil face oil or vitamin E oil. I have this oil that I'm going to Oregon and vitamin E oil from Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I'll be using that next. I'm trying to use up, like I said, this face and body refresher because I'm never going to use it. I think it's a refresher for like in the summertime and stuff when you just need to spray your face or spray your body to refresh. I don't need to, so I don't know why I bought it. But I've been using it to get the makeup off my face. So after I get the makeup off, using a makeup wipe or your rag, I go into my make my soap. This is the Clinique All About Clean Liquid Extra Mile Facial Soap. I go in, and this is actually my cleanser. Whatever you use, Neutrogena, Dove, Estee Lauder, whatever it is you use to clean your face. Okay, now for the most part, I'm a lazy face cleaner, and I'll just say that. For the most part, I will use my hands, okay? Once or twice a week. Oh, where is it? This is why I don't use it, because I can't ever find it. Once or twice a week, I will use my Clarisonic. Um, but I need to get another, um, whatever you call this for the Clarisonic, the brush. So i just been holding off, because it's clean, and I clean it. But it still looks very brown. I don't know any other way. I mean, I clean it, but it still looks brown. So maybe it's just time for a new brush. So sometimes I will use the Clarisonic for my face. And then sometimes, where's the other one? I don't remember the name of this one. But sometimes I will use this. And it's just another face cleansing. Um, but if I'm not in the mood, if I'm not in the mood, I will clean my face the way y'all just seen me clean my face. Especially if I come home, I got to log on to my second job right away. And by the time I log off, like tonight, I'm tired. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to take a shower and I'm ready to relax. So I'm kind of lazy about it with that. Okay. So the next thing that I do is I use my toner. I'm trying to use up this Dickinson Witch Hazel just to make sure I got everything off of my face.
my neck. I always forget my neck. Just to make sure I got everything off my face. And then the next thing I'm going to use is whatever nighttime moisturizer. Um, this is by Lancome. Whatever nighttime moisturizer I'm going to use, I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And um, so like I said, it's a pretty fast makeup routine during the week. Okay. Now, Fridays, when I know the weekend is coming, or sometimes Sundays, I know the weekend is coming, I will take my time with my face. I will take my time. I will do all of that, but I will put my mask on before I shower. I like the Clinique Rebalancing Mask. There was another mask that I had. I don't know where it's at, so I'm not going to hold y'all up. I will put my mask on. I will do my mask in the shower before I do my moisturizer and all of that. So that's on my major um, exploring days. And then some days I will do a scrub. I have the Pacifica scrub. And I have one of my favorites, the Biore baking soda scrub. So when I'm really like, like I said, getting down to it. Um, normally, if I don't have anything going on on Saturdays, I don't wear makeup on Saturdays. Unless I have an event or something going on. So most of the time, Friday night is my night to do my scrub, do my mask, do all of that. Now, sometimes during the week, if I have a little bit of extra time and I'm not being lazy, I will mix this baking soda scrub in with my cleanser. So normally I get a scrub in like twice a week and I get a mask in once a week. Okay. I am still using the down low inner thigh serum. It was to take um, fade away dark spots and dark areas from your inner thigh. I have still been using it on my neck area. <clears throat> And I really think it's working. I'm, I'm waiting for it to fade away a little bit more so I can come back and give y'all like another review on this. But I really do think it's working. It's for the, the thigh area so you can wear your bikini without whatever. But I've been using that. So it is what it is. So yeah, so basically I remove my makeup first with some type of makeup remover. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is an Estee Lauder makeup remover i have a little bit left in here I'm trying to use this stuff up um a makeup remover or a cold cream or an oil that's number one get the stuff off your face then go to your cleanser i'm not telling y'all what no somebody asked me what i do okay i'm not trying to tell you what to do ain't no law about this um then i go to my cleanser sometimes i will mix the baking soda scrub in with my cleanser and really scrub it into my face Okay, after that, I will rinse the cleanser off and I will do my toner, whatever toner, whatever astringent, whatever you have, that is what I will do. And then if I'm not going to do a mask, I will go ahead and do my nighttime moisturizer. If I am going to do a mask, I will do my toner. I will do my mask. I'll probably take a shower so my tone, my um, mask can be on for like at least, you know, five, ten minutes or so. And then I will wipe my mask off. Sometimes I will do toner again. Sometimes I won't. And then I will do my nighttime moisturizer. So I don't have a very extensive face routine. I can be kind of lazy when it comes to my face. And thank God for good genes because, you know, the older you get, things start to happen. But I don't have much. The only thing I notice is I'm starting to get whatever this is. Whatever this lines is i i'm not getting wrinkles i don't have wrinkles or anything like that um, my freckles have always been here this mole is pushing itself out more it used to be a really really light mole and now it's not um but other than that thank god i don't have many facial problems besides just being super oily and so i don't have to go into a whole crazy routine but i do have a small skincare routine to take care of my skin and make sure that my face is taken care of and then usually after i eat last but not least i will put on some type of chapstick or oil on my lips now i also have my lip scrubs up there and that's something that i generally will do friday friday or sunday i will do my lip scrub while i'm doing my face um, but I always, always put some type of oil, chapstick, or lip balm 
on my lips and that's that's it that's that's my skincare i'm routine um if you want to know some of my favorite products um neutrogena biore clinique estee lauder those are hands down probably unless somebody gives me something to test out that's all you're gonna see me with period I, I'm almost done with that Clinique cleanser and I have another Clinique cleanser waiting to be used. That's me. If I have to go low end, it's going to be the Neutrogena. And because I'm oily, I use the Neutrogena grapefruit, grapefruit face cleanser. And Biore is also very easy on the pockets. Biore is very, their facial cleansers, their masks, their scrubs, very easy on the pocket. Very easy on the pocket. So that's what you're going to find from me if you guys have any other ideas of what i can do with this body and face refresher let me know but for right now it's a makeup remover <laughs> i'll see y'all next time